hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. Today I have a Target haul for you. I will have timestamps down below. Um, I'm gonna start with kind of the non-food items and then I'll have a grocery timestamp and then I'll have a try on. I got a couple makeup things that I will uh, do a small try on for you guys. I don't know, I need to go get groceries yesterday um, and it was pouring rain here. And so I was going to Walmart, but then our Target or one of our Targets has like a, a covered parking. So I ended up at Target. I just love perusing the aisles. So I don't know. I feel like I was a little down in the dumps or I've been a little down in the dumps in the last month or so. So I don't know. I felt like some retail therapy was where it's at. Mostly Easter stuff, if I'm going to be honest, besides the grocery stuff. Um, but I was kind of going up and down the makeup aisle. I got two things, three things, three things. Um, I almost got a foundation, but my goal is to use the one I have first. Um, I keep buying all these foundations and then I regret them. So I need to stop, stop doing that. So anyway, let's see what we got. I can't believe I've got a bunch of Easter stuff just because it's going to be here before you know it. It's actually 42 days when I'm filming this till Easter. Um, but I've noticed ever since COVID, like holiday stuff, if you want to have the best selection, it's the earlier, the better. Um, so we do a lot of the pre-filled bags um, for Easter. I like the candy in this. I felt like the candy this year was better than in years past. We also get to get together. We have a get together with friends. And so I use those. Um, I really was excited about all these candies for the Easter eggs. I have my door locked so my daughter can't b burst in here. Um, and so just basically stuff like a big peep. I don't think I've ever seen a big peep before. Um, stuff for that. Oh, and this is, I guess, going to be, I'll just do other things. Normally we get her a really big egg. I'm going to have to look at the receipt and kind of go over what I got. Um, so she loves these like surprise egg things. I think I might've gotten too many, but like I said, we normally do a giant one. And so instead I got her, um, a couple of little small ones. And then down the decoration aisle, this is not really, wasn't my aim, but I couldn't say no to these. I feel like I need to get, have my husband get our decorations down today. I thought these were so pretty. They're like big eggs. And so I really felt like these would be great on the bookshelf. Um, again, maybe sitting behind me. I just love the colors. I love this one, especially the green and then the purple. And these feel like they're not wood. I don't think they're not. I don't think they're wood, but they feel really solid. Like I feel like you could drop them and they're not going to dent or break. So I just really love these. And so I couldn't say no. I think oh, they were $5 each. And they're by Spritz, which I believe is uh, Target's brand. And then also down the decoration aisle, this was a... Kind of like a play on the wooden beads, but they're pom-poms. I love the colors and I, I'm going to save the receipt because we're going to decorate soon. So if they don't end up fitting in, I'll take them back. But I saw these kind of winding around like the wooden beads on the bookshelf. Um, so I really liked the colors and that was $10. So Easter is my favorite candy of the year. And my two favorites, and they have been since I was a, a little, are the Reese's egg. And I prefer the Reese's egg really over the pumpkin or the Christmas tree. But I mean, in general, the, the holiday Reese's are one of my favorites. Cadbury eggs are my other favorite. My husband's favorite, and I would say probably my third, are the Cadbury mini eggs. So we have three of those. Normally I buy a big bag, but I didn't see a big bag. My husband's birthday's in April and he normally gets a big bag of these because these are his number one uh, favorite candy. I think, so those are my top three favorite candies. And then these were $5, so a bit of a splurge, but they had two huge bath bombs. One was pineapple and one was watermelon mint mojito. And there goes my bag. They both smell really good and these are such a good size and they were so cute. Um, so I splurged on these guys. And then the makeup aisle. Like I said, I really held back from getting a foundation. 
um, just because I feel like I'm either going to get the Rare Beauty or the Fenty, I think, Tinted Moisturizer. And so I just didn't want to waste money because any more drugstore foundations are getting to be in the $15 range. So I thought, just save my money. So I don't know what it is. Here lately, I have been into getting makeup brushes, even though I have a favorite. This was $10. Uh, Sonia Kashuk. And I've never heard of that. Um, but I love... It's a flat top foundation brush. I have a foundation brush I love, and I don't think anything's going to beat it for $6.99 on Amazon. So I don't know why I'm doing this. I bought an Eco Tools one from Walmart, and it's no good. I don't know what I'm doing. I do love the travel case that this comes with. Um, so I don't know. I don't know why I feel like I need to try out uh, foundation brushes. But it was something fun to buy that's really harmless at the end of the day. If I can get it open. Sorry, this is a wrapper. So I love these almost, I think it's like kabuki style brushes, if I'm saying that right. Can I get the lid out? I may have to like pause. Oh, there we go. So it has a case, which I love for traveling. Not that I generally travel with makeup, but it is a flat tip that has tons of bristles, very dense. And I'm almost thinking just from the feel of it, it's not as dense as the one I really love um, from Amazon. But I don't know, I just thought it would be fun. Uh, when it has all these dense ones, it basically gives like an airbrush finish. So I'm super excited to try that. And I am gonna do a try on. So um, after, after the groceries, I will have a try on of the stuff I got. And so I'll have a timestamp down below. Um, I used to be the person who never wore highlighter. I was scared of it. Then I liked highlighter. So I have a couple powdered highlights and I still like powdered highlights, but I kind of like the glow from within. Sometimes I feel like if you get too heavy handed with a powder highlight, it really just looks like you have powder highlight. And so I saw this. I've never heard of Revolution Pro or Revolution. Um, they had a couple primer sticks. One was out that I had wanted. Um... But this is the Blur Stick in Bright, and it's pore blurring primer with illuminating pigments for a subtle glow, shea butter, and vitamin E. And so I think this is also about $10. Everything's anymore like $10 in the drugstore section, it seems. Um, so I'm kind of liking when you put something on and then it makes you glow or your foundation's already glowy. I'm kind of preferring that now to highlight. So it's very shiny, so I'm not sure it's picking up super well. <coughs> I'm a little nervous about this. I don't know. It just struck me as something I wanted to try. Not, oh, it's the screw cap. Um, so this is what it looks like. I'm interested. I'm interested. I'm a, I'm a little uh, concerned that it may be a bad interesting. Um, I don't see any glow on my hand. Um, this may be a bust. We will try it. Maybe it'll be a good primer. Um, I will say it is definitely blurring on my hand. The pores definitely are blurring. Um, but it is a thick, like kind of balm like feel. And I don't see any brightness. And so with the name like bright, I was really thinking it would be like a glowy, um, stick. So I don't know, we will try that. Maybe it'll look great under makeup, but I don't see any glow at all. Um, it's very cloudy out, so the lighting is not the best, but I was really thinking this would be pearlescent, kind of like a glow. Um, so anyway, we will try this. I've never heard of Revolution. If you've heard of Revolution, let me know. And the other thing that was kind of just, I really don't need more mascara at this point, but I've seen a lot of people do videos with Essence. Um, Essence is really cheap. It was $4.99. They have, um, at least at this Target, four mascaras. One was this one, one was the waterproof, and then the other two were more volumizing. This is the False Lash, uh, Lash Effect. And for $5, you can't really go wrong. Um, and I've seen several people basically say that for $5, you can't beat it. Um, it is a bristle applicator like this. Um, I'm kind of so-so on the bristle like this, although I've not had like a cone-shaped one before. So I'm excited to try it. I love trying mascaras. Mascaras are something that I wear almost every day, and I don't wear makeup every day except for mascara. 
Um, so I think the packaging is kind of cute. The price is right. So we will give it a try. So that is my Target haul from today. Like I said, if you want to skip the groceries and go on to the try on, there will be a timestamp down below. Um, thank you so much. All right, so here we are with the grocery portion. And so originally I had was on my way to Walmart and then Albertsons, our grocery store, but it was raining cats and dogs. So we ended up at Target, which has underground, not co covered parking, anyway. So this is kind of scattered, but anyway, uh, meal plan for probably tomorrow's dinner is some ravioli. This brand was on sale, cheaper than Target's brand. They didn't have two of these where I would have gotten them. Um, but anyway, we'll have this for dinner with marinara. And then I got one of the salad mixes. I've never had maple bacon and bourbon. Um, the other ones didn't seem like they would go with Italian night. Um, they have a dill one, which I tried from Trader Joe's and it was just, I love dill, but it was too much. So this will be dinner tomorrow night. Um, snacks, a string cheese. Uh, getting double the, um, getting 24 versus 12 only cost 90 more cents. Um, we got some turkey breasts. I don't get this caramel color thing, but the only other one they had, I don't think would have worked for my daughter. Um, I love giving cards. I usually give them to some family and then also teachers at other schools. So I really like those. That's not grocery, but it somehow got in the bag. Uh, pretzels and hummus is a staple here. I like these. These are also fancy, fancier. They have everything ones. They have different flavors, but I like they're different. They're flat and they're nice for a change, but we've been doing hummus and pretzels a lot for snacks. My daughter's been into bagels. I had gotten her the chocolate chip. She requested plain ones this time. I like keeping a bag of this microwave rice around just in case. Um, so I like basmati and it's super easy, 90 seconds and it's ready to go. Only serves two people in my opinion though. Um, we had some dip left over from Trader Joe's. So we needed some crackers. One of my coworkers gets these and I really like them. They're a little bit thinner and I like the triangle shape. The particular Target I was at didn't really have good meals. I am tend to go the microwave route for lunches at work. Often I'm very picky with meat microwaved. So leftovers, if there's any, my husband usually eats them, but if there's leftovers, I usually go to him. Um, I love these, their power bowls are super good. They didn't have all the flavors I liked at this particular Target. Um, I haven't had this one before, but I thought I would try it. Um, I like tuna sandwiches, tuna on my salad. My daughter will often ask for tuna sandwiches. These are normally $1.50 or more. They were on sale for 99 cents, which is why I got so many. Uh, good old fashioned milk. And then Tillamook. Um, they have their plant or factory is up north in California. We toured it probably almost close to 20 years ago. They have delicious ice cream. I will say I really only like the chocolate ones. But, you know, before before I got married, I was like a vanilla flavor based person. Uh, but my husband loves chocolate and I think I've been, I've swapped to the chocolate side. This is a, a, my absolute favorite, um, the mudslide. And then, I mean, the chocolate ribbon is just crazy. So if, if you have Tillamook, I would give it a whirl, but I like the chocolate peanut butter and the mudslide. All right, up next will be the try on. All right, so let's try this on. I am thinking this is not gonna be what I expected. I expected it to be shimmery, um, but I do love that it's kind of like a huge chunky thing. So it's easy to handle and just rub all over. But it, in my opinion, is definitely not adding any glow um, so I feel like this is just to blur. So I'm not sure if I really see anything happening. I'm not really sure I see any glow, um, from this at all. But like I said earlier, I have not heard of that brand at all. Um, I don't really know if you need to buff it out or anything. Um, but it feels like a very tacky balm and I could very much have put too much on. Um, 
So I don't know. Let's go on with makeup, <clears throat> which now I've somehow lost my way here. So I'm trying not to buy any more foundation until I go through this. This is the Thrive Buildable Blur. Um, I loved it when I first used it. Then I was kind of eh about it. That I was also convinced the color had changed. Um, but I'm back to liking it and I want to use it uh, due to the price point. So let's try this brush and see what we think. I often kind of dot it um, before I go in. I'm probably going to need another one, another pump. Um, but let's see. Ooh, I like that actually. I think this brush, um, I am liking. So my favorite brush is a no name, um, one from Amazon, $6.99. It is so dense. It just does an airbrush finish. Honestly, I think this brush does the same. And I kind of like the handle on this brush more. Um, I am not sure what I think of that primer. I keep losing everything. Um, and I also feel like this brush maybe soaks up some of the foundation. So I do like this foundation brush. I feel like it um, does a good job of kind of blending everything out. I don't think this adds brightness. I just don't know where that clean come from. I was really expecting a uh, shimmer, almost like a highlight. I almost feel like it's mat mattifying. So I had just done my makeup for the video uh, and then I washed my face and put this on. I almost feel like I, wash I liked my makeup better before. Um, and so this is um, the Thrive also already has some, whatever you call it, glow to it. So I don't know. We will see um, how this goes throughout the day. But I'm not super into that. Um, and I almost want to say, I feel like this brush maybe takes away some of the product. But I really do like that. All right, I'll be right back. All right, let's try the Essence Mascara. I often don't do as good of a job putting on mascara when we're on camera, but let's see what we have. I will say I really like that. That's one coat. Um, I really like that. So this morning, right before I filmed this video, I used um, the Too Faced. And the Too Faced has this wand. And I don't feel like I got the length. I love the length with one coat. I think this brush is also better. It's easier to get in there. Um, let's do two coats. Yeah, I really like that. Now I will say it kind of started getting a little clumpy there, um, but I don't think I would have to go in at all with a eyelash comb. I like this. Now the key will be, does it flake? Does it smudge? Does it last? Um, but I like that a lot. I feel like it lifted and curled. Um, and it looks really nice personally. Like I said, um, I think it looks a lot better than the Too Faced. And I like the wand quite a bit. Um, it's easier to get in. This one being like the fat hourglass um, is really hard to get in. And so far, this has been really easy. Although I tend to always do like one better than the other that seems to be always somehow how it goes um but i find this very easy kind of i mean you could do one swipe and go um but i am liking this quite a bit uh, 
Um, the other one definitely came out better. So on that one, I would probably use my eyelash comb, which I highly recommend Amazon. Uh, but I really like those or that. I really like it a lot. So here we are. Um, this seems to be a win for sure. Sorry, my daughter was coming in. So I don't know what I think about this. I think it was glowier earlier. Um, I can definitely feel this, but I also, I think maybe put a lot on. This is very, I don't know. It was very balm-like. So let's go ahead and put some highlighter on. I am liking the Ciate London better than the Fenty. Um, but anyway, this is the ending product. I really love um, the mascara. I think that's a win. Uh, there was no fallout. And if there's anything major to note, I'll come back on um, and tell you how the day progressed. All right, let's do a final recap. I like the brush. So I definitely am happy I got this. I like the handle. I think it works really well. Um, $10. I love, love the, this for $6.99. Um, so I feel like this one's probably slightly better, but I like that and I'm happy I bought it. And that's pretty much where it stops. Um, this is terrible. I don't know why people give it a good review. You can probably see fallout already. So I had had it on for about an hour. We were in the car and I look in the mirror and I just had black little dots everywhere. I had it up here on my lid, which because my lashes are longer, isn't uncommon. I brushed it away and then I just, I don't know how well you can see that. There's just fallout everywhere. <clears throat> and, um, Otherwise, I would love it. If this didn't fall out for me, I would love it. $5, you can't go wrong. Um, but it's just no good. I can't have it falling out. And then this is disappointing. It's not bad, but I don't think it brightens. Like, for a subtle glow. I mean, I feel like there's no glow. And it's very balm-like. So I would say for the first 45 minutes, it just really felt like I had a balm on my skin and I don't think it added any glow personally. So I might try it one or two more times, but I don't think this did anything. So there you have it. I'm also gonna show you what I do with my Easter decorations. I really kind of wanted to do the whole house, but my daughter sort of outvoted me. So I just used what I got at Target in our master. I just needed a little pick me up. So in here on the dresser where if I sit in my bed, this is what I look at. Um, I put the garland and the two little eggs and I just love it. It makes me happy every time I look at it. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you soon.